Welcome to PMMVY on Radium demo module. I have prepared a small slide to uh, tell you the process. Uh, though I'll try to maintain the secrecy while you know recording this uh, video. So, uh, what is on Radium? Sorry, uh, under PMMVY scheme, each Anganwadi worker, Anganwadi and Asha worker, will receive some sort of amount against each form they fill uh, for the citizens uh, who are the beneficiary of the scheme and if citizens uh, have you know self-registered then uh, maybe they have you know verified them so for that verification process and there are you know a lot of uh, you know uh, decision made by ministry based on which what amount will be you know provided at what time so that amount is basically honorarium now this honorarium is uh, i have prepared this module uh, to you know uh, communicate through pfms in uh, using c sharp and uh, we will send request to pfms which will further you know uh, will be responsible for direct benefit transfer directly into the uh, honorees account here uh, i am you know taking some terms as per the PFMS documentation. So there uh, they always call it beneficiary. So here beneficiaries are these Asha Anganwadi worker. I will, uh, you know, also use term honorary. So whosoever will be, you know, receive this honorarium will be honorary. So what is the process? So process is divided into these eight steps. These eight steps are basically divided into three main steps so first is beneficiary registration then payment request and then payment status request so first part is divided into four sub steps which is uh, sending request to benef uh, pfms then receiving acknowledgement against that request so basically pfms will tell here that yes they have received the request for beneficiary registration later uh, pfms will send the response against each beneficiary whether they have registered them or if they have rejected them and if rejected they will also tell the reason why these beneficiaries are rejected and then once we will resolve uh, sorry receive this response we will send the acknowledgement that okay uh, we have received the response against each beneficiary from PFMS. So this is a four step process. Then comes the payment process. So payment process is subdivided into just two parts. So we will send the request to the uh, PFMS to pay the beneficiary and beneficiary will give us the acknowledgement that yes, they have received the request for payment, but they will not tell us what is the status of payment. Uh, so to know the status of payment there is another step which is third one so we will send the request uh, to benefit uh, pfms to know uh, if this particular beneficiary is being uh, paid or not so pfms will send us the response that this is the current status of this particular beneficiary sorry for the background noise so i am trying to you know uh, tell you the uh, you know pictorial presentation of these steps so first part is divided into four steps as we have already you know uh, discussed in uh, last slide so here you can see that communication is happening between the scheme and pfms and this communication doesn't happen on a rest api type of uh, uh, communication it is happening uh, using ftp so basically we send a xml request uh, we keep that particular uh, XML into a predefined folder and PFMS will pick that and against whatever request they receive they again push uh, another XML file uh, in a different folder so you can see that they are I mean this is main folder beneficiary data for this particular step and four different folders for each steps so I have already you know represented with the direction that who will send what kind of file so these are four steps and i have in my uh, code divided these four steps into three steps so we will basically send the request we will receive the acknowledgement 
and when we receive the response we will immediately send the receiving acknowledgement to the pfms so these two steps are combined in my code uh, then comes the part two so in part two we will send the xml file with all the details of okay these are the beneficiaries please pay them this much amount and then pfms will send back us the response that whether these payment files which is also known as fund transfer orders are accepted by them or not now this is very crucial step because if we we will send anything which is not as per the pfms documentation they might reject the entire file so we need to you know make sure that okay this particular file should be uh, very precisely made in a way as per pfms now the next step is uh, step 3 which is again subdivided into two steps so again so main folder is different from what we have previously so in this slide the main folder was beneficiary data and then four subfolder for each process then we have payment data as a main folder for this is step 2 and separate folder for each of these two steps and in the end we have uh, payment status data for the th uh, third and the last step and uh, two different from cpsms and two cpsms uh, folders for both these steps so this is the entire process which i have you know tried to cover in my code now let's uh, let's get to the demo before demo uh, this is uh, the infrastructure i have prepared virtually on on docker so this is running on docker so this postgres instance is running on docker and uh, we have you know web version of pj admin but for the sake of simplicity adminer is the uh, very tiny uh, html sorry uh, database client so i'm using that for now and this is the web interface uh, so we have this uh, honorarium schema separately maintaining all the table for this particular module and we have these tables now uh, like we have uh, payment list in our uh, existing uh, database which is currently running with pfm oh, sorry pmmvy scheme uh, in the payment list we have all the you know data related to the payment to the beneficiaries similarly i have maintained a honor list so here all the honoraries will be uh, you know so i have put two different entries for the honoraries and we will you know run our demo against these two uh, things so uh, this is my uh, payment request file so this is for first step and uh, in one file we send multiple records right so this particular another table is for those records now uh, all these four steps are maintained in these two files only for the first step so you can see that uh, these are the main records then we have records prefixed by acknowledgement so this is what we will receive from pfms that okay they have received some request so they send the acknowledgement step number two step number three later on they will send the response against each beneficiary so we are recording that and the prefixes is response underscore and then in the end once these response will be received we will send uh, acknowledgement against response so response acknowledgement is the prefix so these are the fields which are for response acknowledgement and then we have each record against uh, these so right now uh, these uh, these tables are empty because we haven't uh, you know initiated the process to register these uh, beneficiaries and by the way in the first step what we are seeking with from pfms is basically pfms beneficiary id so pfms will assign a unique beneficiary id against each of these beneficiaries which we will record uh, in our table so pfms yeah so pfms beneficiary code 
this is what we will uh, you know seek in step number 1 and uh, as i have already told we also require uh, a ftp server so i have my own ftp server and uh, for the sake of simplicity what i have done is i am also you know playing the role of pfms so my code will perform whatever uh, is in the left hand and i will manually do the right hand task which is pfms part so for that i have already you know uh, keep these two responses so as you can see the folder name will be from cpsms acnac from cpms acnac acknowledgement or no acknowledge and then uh, uh, from cpsms so from cpsms so rest two folder this code will automatically generate and also we are you know keeping one copy here in our local folder so first you know my code will generate the xms xmls in a particular folder here and then it will try to push it and similarly when it will you know download uh, any of these xmls which are predefined uh, by the pfms or uh, will be you know sent by pfms they will first download it here and then process it so let's begin the task uh, so i have you know uh, prepared these three uh, controllers beneficiary registration controller this is the first one for first step which has like as i have told you uh, the first i have convert uh, you know divided into three parts instead of four so one function represents each so first second and third uh, then the second one is a beneficiary payment request controller now uh, this controller is divided into two parts so one for you know sending the payment request and then uh, reading the acknowledgement from pfms similarly the third one this is again divided into two parts so two functions uh, in one we are asking uh, you know sending the xml file to the uh, you know uh, pfms to know the payment status and then uh, pfms will send the payment status and we will acknowledge it so these are uh, the three controller three main controller and right now i am doing it uh, from the uh, api perspective but we can easily convert these functions into console based application to uh, you know create schedulers why i have done this because i wanted to you know uh, trigger these functions from the web so earlier i was planning to you know create a generic uh, library for this and uh, this is the part of that particular plan okay so uh, let's run this and by the way i have you know listed uh, all my apis here so these three are the part one these two are for part two and these three are for part three so we will first run this particular API and this will be uh, for beneficiary data request project is in running mode now uh, let's uh, quickly arrange things uh, on the desktop so this is my folder where XML files will be generated and uh, this is uh, the remote folder so basically ftp folder and this is my project so let's first run this particular api and you will notice that uh, two folders are generated one is ftp logs so all the ftp related logs will be generated here uh, as per uh, device and this, these are my XML files. The first folder will be CPSMS, then Scheme Code, Beneficiary Data, and the folder to CPSMS. Here, a XML file will be generated. As you can see, this file is generated, and then it will be uploaded. So this is the file which is uploaded, and this is the output. So we have basically registered two records. So with uh, scheme specific ID is 790 and 789. So these are the two records, right? Now, uh, since uh, this request is uh, already gone, so 
as per the presentation you can see the uh, next xml will be picked from from cpms uh, ack and nec so this is the folder and here i have already you know put this xml from uh, pfms side so let's see uh, if we will you know run this second uh, xml and yes uh, it may happen that when we are running this particular uh, api uh, till that time maybe pfms have put uh, multiple files here so our code is made in a way uh, that it will pick all the files and process all of them so i am running this api this is second api and as you can see it have created this folder so whatever xml is here that will be downloaded here yeah this is the xml so though uh, url is of uh, xml but since we have read this xml so these are all the content of this xml and we can you know also verify it uh, let's uh, do it here so yeah you can see the message id uh, the time at which it is being generated uh, pfms source destination so all these uh, data uh, so received and because there is no reason so this is like empty and why array because there may be multiple reasons so uh, this is how uh, we uh, are reading it and now we are you know also updating the records in our database now the third one so for third one we will not only download the uh, xml from the uh, pfms side but we will also prepare one xml against uh, that file and send it back to uh, pfms right so this is our uh, url and it will generate two folders here and uh, so uh, it will read xml from here i mean first download it and then read it and after reading it will create another xml and push it to the ftp so this is the entire process so as you can see now two folders are prepared so from cpsms we are trying to you know download this particular xml once it will be downloaded we will you know put that into this uh, 2cp ack nec uh, folder and then push that xml there as you can see in the in the third and final step uh, why final because third and fourth both are you know executed together so uh, uh, as per the presentation you can see from cpsms and to cp ack nac so from cpsms so we have basically downloaded this particular file read it and then created this another file and uploaded it here so you might see say that okay where is the folder so i'll just need to refresh it and here is the folder so you can see now uh, this uh, xml file is there now let's check into the database so this was uh, our beneficiary and you can see that now uh, all the acknowledgement prefixes so basically acknowledgement is already read then then we have a response so in the response you might uh, see the pfms beneficiary code oh, okay sorry this is the file level records so uh, pfms beneficiary code uh, will be uh, in the honorary file so it is being updated here yeah so these are two uh, pfms beneficiary file this is what i have set and uh, now these are uh, uh, i mean file level records 
so we can see that okay uh, here the Aadhaar record is basically encrypted these are uh, like uh, PFMS beneficiary code which is being uh, res uh, responded from PFMS these are uh, beneficiaries bank account number and all so uh, so you can see now uh, from the step one uh, PFMS beneficiary code is what we were seeking now we have it so uh, let's move on to uh, the next step which is uh, which is payment uh, request so um, I'll show you I'll try to show you all the step but uh, for uh, you know for the purpose of keeping this video short I'll try if uh, I mean everything will be understood uh, by this step or not so again this is happening in a separate folder so if we can see that okay these are four uh, uh, subfolders for step one now we need us another folder so let's do this uh, we will not you know create one instead uh, my code will do it by itself so here we have uh, you know other folders and this time we require payment data folder payment data and in the payment data folder uh, the first folder will be 2 cp sms uh, 2 cp sms so this folder will be automatically created and here also this uh, particular folder will be automatically created so my uh, next step is uh, from the second controller so the second controller is uh, I think system is getting hanged because I am running too many things in parallel ok so this is payment request controller and uh, this is uh, another uh, API endpoint so my endpoint like this let's take another tab yes uh, let me keep these two uh, here only so okay. so this is uh, payment data right so in the payment data So this is another uh, folder payment data is created to CP SMS and uh, here you can see soon we will have this folder here as well and then uh, this particular file will be uh, generated. Okay so we basically uh, get the data and uh, here is the file and let's refresh this. So the file get uploaded uh, on FTP as well. So this is uh, step number uh, step number two uh, sub step number one. So as per presentation. This is basically the payment request. And against this request we will respond uh, sorry we will get the response from PFMS. By the way, I don't have that response created uh, yet uh, because uh, as I told you that I was also, you know, for this purpose of this demo, I was uh, performing the part of PFMS, right? So this file I haven't put on FTP. So before, you know, going to the next step, let me pause the video and uh, do it. And once I'll do it, I'll again come back and uh, then, you know, I'll read the data and, uh, you know, access and check uh, if everything is done in the database so now i have uh, kept this uh, from cp sms uh, in the so in payment data we have just like recently uploaded this to cp sms uh, xml and this i have just created and this is the desired uh, xml which will be you know uploaded from pfms so since now it is present um, 
let's uh, execute the next step So as you can see, uh, it will start downloading that file. Yeah, so this is the file uh, and it has successfully downloaded it and it has read all the content out of uh, this particular file. So let's, uh, let's read it from the server itself. Uh, yeah so this is my uh, message id which i have received from efms so it matches here all the dates and everything so yeah this is the status uh, whether uh, this payment uh, related record has been accepted or not so now let's check the database uh, so so these are the two, uh, I would say, files, sorry, database tables, which uh, will contain uh, the data uh, for payment requests. So as you can see, uh, both the records are being, you know, mapped here. So these are the record uh, which we will received originally, or oh, sorry, sent originally to the PFMS. And then uh, with the ACK underscore prefix, we have all the data that we have, you know, received from the PFMS. And then uh, this is like a, rec a file level record and these are like individual records. So, so acknowledgement part is also there, which uh, meant to be in this particular uh, uh, record. So let's check. Yeah, so this is the entry uh, which we have, uh, which is being done so we have sent this record and yes we have successfully also you know uh, recorded all the acknowledgement that we have received from uh, pfms this uh, this uh, group level uh, acknowledgement is being accepted and uh, let's check file level record so two records are there and uh, both the records so these are the like uh, payment requests that we have done uh, and uh, uh, if we can see that both these uh, records are accepted by PFMS right so if there would be any error uh, this would be like rejected uh, and then uh, when this will be rejected our uh, file uh, level uh, yeah uh, there will be no partial acceptance in FTO so if even if a single record will be rejected entire file will be rejected yes so that's uh, the process. Now uh, let's begin uh, the final and the uh, last process in which uh, we are basically, um, uh, you know, checking with PFMS if uh, the payment status is, uh, you know, if it is done or if it is stuck and if stuck where it is uh, right now. So for the purpose, uh, we have this particular uh, table sorry uh, folder so this folder is not there and let's check the FTP in FTP we have this particular folder but again uh, the uh, uh, the second file uh, forget about second even uh, yes only second file belongs to the PFMS part so that I have uh, not uploaded. So I'll pause the video and upload that. But before that, let's begin with this uh, request thing. So for request, we have this particular endpoint. So now you can see this folder is just created. And it will request all the records uh, whose payment status is uh, pending yeah so this is the uh, XML file and let me refresh yeah so this file is now present uh, so as you have seen uh, that uh, I have prepared uh, 
almost I have covered almost all the steps apart from this so this was the demo thank you